just tuned in that is a first for us it's a bit of opera and i'm delighted to say these are three ladies who join me from the north west opera society you're very welcome ladies thank you very much indeed uh we have got lisa yes hi lisa Hello. Um, we have got anna louise Hello. and we have got diana so first of all when i seen this engelbert humperdinck's hansel and gretel uh, the first thing i thought <laughs> What's You're thinking the bloke from the 1970s, aren't you? I yeah. certainly am. All right, okay, <laughs> we'll just clarify this now. He nicked the name. This yeah. is the original wow. German 19th century composer. Yeah. Um, Engelbert Humperdinck and your 1970s crooner. He nicked the name because he thought it was so impressive, so distinctive. Uh -huh. thought, I'll have a bit of that. Well, he did. So, yeah. <laughs> I think his name was Jerry Dorsey. If my memory serves me Absolutely. Right. I think, yeah. I, think I would have stuck with yeah. Jerry Dorsey, to be honest with you. Well, yeah, yeah. But enough about him. Yeah, uh, absolutely. That, that, uh, I, as regards opera, I have very, very little knowledge. In fact, I would go from little to know. But... Uh, uh, I'm always impressed by the beauty of it and the, the you know the stories of the, some of the drama. But you are putting on um, the show called Hansel and Gretel, and uh, Anna Louise, maybe you'll tell me a bit about that. I'd love to. We're um, putting on Hansel and Gretel by yeah. Home Pudding, and everyone knows the the fairy tale Hansel yeah. and Gretel. <clears throat> poor family, they get sent into the forest for being naughty mm -hmm. to collect food, and they get lost. They have to stay overnight. The next day, a witch finds them after they've been eating her gingerbread house. She tries uh, to fatten them up to eat them, <laughs> but the two children manage to outsmart her and, spoiler alert, yeah. they put her in the oven. <laughs> and they find their parents. You play Hansel. So I sing Hansel. Yes, That's I'm a 31-year-old woman, but I will be playing a 10-year-old boy. No problem. <laughs> I don't think anybody knows. Costuming uh, is everything. Uh, Diana, you are... Um, playing the part of Gretel. Yeah. And tell us a bit about yourself, because that's not a local accent we have here. Oh, um, I'm originally from Maryland in the United States. Okay. Um, I moved here about six years ago with my husband. He's from Derry. Right. And we moved to Bridgend. Good, so good, good. I'm here and I'm teaching. And Very thank good. goodness this opera company exists or I wouldn't have many opportunities. So are you, uh, the three of you, are you opera connected from a long time? Or, uh, you know, how did... Well, I didn't actually know anything about opera until I went to uh, music college. Okay. But uh, believe me, I would have killed for opportunities like Northwest Opera when I was younger. Is that right? I absolutely would have killed for it. I went to the St. Louis School in Calchamont, which was very, very famous in my mother's generation and grandmother's for music. My grandmother was um, classically trained. Uh, my mother and all her sisters were all uh, classically trained yeah. with uh, singing, violin, piano, everything. But oh. unfortunately, that had kind of gone by the time I came around. That's uh, but, unfortunate uh, for yourself because obviously you do have a love for yeah, it. Yeah, I really, I really adore it. I went to study to be a musical theatre singer but as soon as I discovered opera that was it that was it I really fell in love with it it's beautiful storytelling it's a complete art it's got you know with the set designs you've got visual art with uh -huh. the music you know you've got um aural art you've then you've got the you've got all the singers you've got the dancers you've got the orchestra it's and then you've got the beautiful text so it's for me it's a real complete art it 
it takes everything in. Uh, it's just not one particular part, it's the entire package really? Yeah, it's the whole really package. It really is. Missing. Yeah, and I think, yeah. I mean, I'm relatively new to it in a way. My family started to get involved in it via a friend of a friend who knew Anne Jennings, who is the founder of Northwest Opera, an absolutely passionate woman. And, you know, credit to her, this is why Northwest <laughs> Opera exists. And this is why we can bring um, live opera done in a professional way to the doorstep of people um, locally, really, you know, they don't have to trek to Dublin or Wexford or Belfast or wherever, yeah. you know, this is a real pucker, full live opera right on their doorstep. So it's really about sort of trying to bring it sort of get grassroots and, and do it to a very, very good standard so that people get that whole experience that Anna Louise was just talking yeah. about. The wonderful thing about Northwest Opera is that they're... Um, they really are producing a professional grade opera and they're using so many people from the community which I think is is just incredible. Lots of opera companies, they get people in from abroad, yeah. they sing everything, and then they go away again. But it, I think it's so wonderful here that people here around Donegal can talk about it for years and all remember yeah. that we did that's what, I, that's what I want we've to got, ask you. Um, we've got dancers, we've got a dance school involved, we've got mm. beautiful ballet dancers, the senior class from up at Pinewood Studios. No, it's Zona Dance. Oh, sorry, yeah, just, dance. Yeah, no, sorry, just the people's, yeah. No, it's fine that they do yeah. train at Pine Hill, but to be fair to them. Um, yeah, they're absolutely super. That's the senior class there. They're all on point. It's absolutely it, is gorgeous. Is this their scene. first time to do opera? With, a, yeah. with an orchestra, I believe. Yep. Yeah, it would be the first time to do yeah. opera. They, they do their own ballet shows. They're a very, very um, proficient dance school. And we have the senior class. They're the ones who, you know, they've really, you know, been studying it for years and years. And um, they're actually just really embracing this opportunity as well. It's a fabulous opportunity for them as well because they get to do a professional production and um, perform with live orchestra. So, you know, it, it's all good, really. Do you know, I think the reason why we do this Monday night programme, one, one, not the reason why we do it, but one of the reasons when we were taking it over, we said we want to get as diverse as we can. We want to uh, bring in all forms of, uh, you know, art, music and whatever and this is the first time I've had opera and I have to say in fairness to yourselves uh, a big congratulations to you are uh, well done for uh, bringing opera to a new outlet because it hasn't really now I, I, I might be stepping out of line saying this it hasn't really had a high profile in the north west as far as I can see you know so uh, a lot of people would take opera as maybe a bit dramatic a bit serious but this aspect that you're coming in from is a show that can bring children in and everything, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. We've got a children's chorus involved. There are children. Obviously, it's a children's story, you know, so we've got children from the community whose parents were in the chorus and everything. Yes. And they're... How many children do we have? There's about 20 in the chorus. Yeah, and they're they're enjoying so much. They're getting to sing with a professional conductor yes. who's here from Germany. That's Anton Zapf, who is very, very... He's got a you know great great CV and a wonderful experience with many orchestras and opera I don't companies. think there's anywhere he's not conducted, actually. Yeah, he's, he done, is, he's done this opera about 20 times. And he's so wonderful with the children because, you know, this is their first time singing with a conductor, which is uh -huh. very new. And he's so good with them, and you can see how excited they all well, are. Well, you see, that's a part of it, isn't it? It's yeah. one thing we yeah. really do that, but ha having the connection with children. Yeah. Right, see the, the children that are involved. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the music's totally different. Would the music be totally different from what they're used to doing as choirs and things like that, isn't it? Um, well, uh, the style, one the wonderful style. thing about this production is um, Anne Jennings has chosen to make it a little more accessible. We're performing it in English. Although nor, uh, it is originally written in German, okay. but we're singing an English translation, which Anne has actually made, which is very, very close to the German German uh, version, which is really excellent. So it's in English, just to make it a bit more accessible to people. Uh -huh. But I'm, I'm sure there are definitely tunes that people will recognise from it. Right. Well, the thing about it is, the important thing is, you, it's making it accessible, it's making it easier for you. you. I'm, I'm saying young people, maybe adults too, do you understand? Yeah. And mm. it might be to just take their a wee, first step into it. might be a wheat taster that might expand them into something of else. Of of course, I mean, Northwest Opera is not going anywhere. It's no, no it's, you're here to stay. it actually no. is. If you've been sort of teetering on the edge, or you thought, oh, mm, uh. you know, I mean, to be fair, I grew up. I, I was, I was kind of immersed in classical music. I, but I never went to an opera, and it's only really the last couple of years I've got into opera, and I have to say go and see it live that is the key i think to yes. really enjoying opera yeah. now is the chance it's on the doorstep we've tried to make the ticket prices really accessible i mean they are it's just a fraction, a fraction of, of anywhere else in yeah. the country quite honestly with this standard of musicianship so it's here it's on the doorstep it's live it's proper and 
do you know this opera is very very accessible mm. it, it's not big heavy it's opera th no, it, it's, no it's it's very musical it's it, great for kids it's, it's yeah. still great for adults because yeah. it's one of the brother Grimm's uh, fairy tales so you know it's, it's it dark you know it's not it's not the Disney version yeah. <laughs> no I know but, but that's it's, uh, but it's a story that people know so they don't have to worry about yeah. oh wait was that character in disguise or was mm. you know it's it's a very I'm not, I'm not trying to say that we have to dumb anything down, but it's just, it's a beautiful family <coughs> story and opera. The yeah. music is stunning. You know, people aren't, you know, people aren't going to be confused by kind of a very angular contemporary thing. It really is the most beautiful. Well, it's music. on this Friday and Saturday. Yes, in Greenham Greenland Theatre. Tickets are available. Tickets available in the box office. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, so just and phone them up online. Or also go in from online. the from the on Greenland website. Brilliant. Yeah. Yes. Now, you, when you go into uh, when you go into the new year, uh, are plans to set in foot for uh, another production, or uh, have, uh, is that just too early yet for you to think about it? Yeah. I well, the, the definite, I'm sure that there will be plans. I mean, we, we, we've literally just come out of another huge production. We did La Traviata in Derry at the Millennium Forum, which was hugely successful. Um, how, how was that supported? Um, it, was, it was a collaboration with um, Spark Opera, who are quite a relatively um, young company, mm -hmm. and we, we managed to get some cross-border funding for that one as well. Yes. I have to say that we do operate on extremely tight budgets. I mean, we've tried to make the, the, um, the ticket prices as accessible as we possibly can, yeah. um, but, you know, bringing in professional musicians and live orchestras and, you know, I mean... Orchestra it, members coming from all over Europe. Absolutely. I mean, wow. to be fair, that they were work at very, very reasonable rates for us, uh, but we do want to do it in the most proper way that we possibly can. But I have to say that La Traviata was stunning. We did really, really well. And, you know, we'd, we just try and sort of move around locally so that we can sort of... How were the crowd? Was there many people attended? Oh, yeah, we sold over a thousand tickets, no, yeah. no doubt about it. It was a typical um, sellout each yeah. night. Yeah, over 90 yeah. Oh, everybody so raved. Yeah. Everybody in Derry was raving about it. I was yeah. hearing, because I live in Bridgend. Yeah. Everybody was, when is this coming back? When are you coming to do some big... Ma we we right. just can't wait for more opera in Derry's... Well, your enthusiasm, your enthusiasm, is a, it's, I can see it there, you know what I mean? Uh, you, people can't see the radio, but I can see it here, and it's brilliant. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's really, really good what you're doing, and uh, I want to wish you well with it. We'd love to get another uh, song. Can we say a song? Is that the yeah, right? no problem. It's a, yeah, a little it's excerpt. Yeah. Uh, a little it. excerpt is what we'll do. Yeah. Okay. So this is the little tune that Hansel and Gretel sing together when they wake up from their slumber and they first see the gingerbread house and they can't quite believe it's wow. it's real. Wondrous castle on deck down so fine What forest princess is living there inside If all short tunes, not a, a, a drawn out thing. No, no it's, get... it's lovely and these tunes, they come back you know, yeah. so many yeah. times through the opera so you'll suddenly go, oh we heard that earlier oh that means the mother's coming back or that means, yeah. so it, it, it's it really is, and it's, it's not a long opera, you know, you're not going to be sitting there for four hours. Probably an hour and a half or so. <laughs> you know, yeah. about an hour and a half, yeah. there will be an interval, you know so it's, it's definitely a nice kind of bite-sized thing to, you know to take your first step well, into experiencing uh, opera. It, 
it's You've got to experience it live. Yeah, you can see it live. That's the from thing. the orchestra. Yeah, you see the energy of the yeah. conductor. Quite the a mix around on stage, well, costumes, yeah. makeup. The sets, the, uh, the energy that will be in this the uh, the sh in the studio or in the theatre that night uh, it's going to be something else because the energy that these three people in front of me have created uh, they've <laughs> nearly sold it to me anyway right Jeez, away. Kids. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> do you know I think I think you're opening up something here that could be very very successful and uh, that you you know uh, there there is a huge need for that culture. There's so that much musical offer. talent in Ireland oh. and so many people all over the world Tell who us. I travelled mm. have commented on that saying there's mm. nobody in Ireland who cannot sing. Yeah. Or even if they can't sing, there's no one in Ireland who won't sing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. well, there's listen, so much musical talent and you know people I trained with when I was in Dublin for my undergraduate, um, we all have to go to the UK or on to Europe. I live in Berlin now where I'm trying to break onto the opera scene. Oh. Um, but I wish so much that there was more happening in Ireland so I could maybe live here someday, you know. Yeah. Well, listen, right now it's not looking likely but if Northwest Opera can uh, spark the interest and there's the demand then I, I think I think you're up on something. I'm, I really, really want to wish the best luck with it. Once okay. again, it's Hansel and Gretel, uh, the Engelbert Humperdinck <laughs> version, not the same. You're no, to you, please release me. No, you <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's uh, on this, uh, this Friday and Saturday night in the uh, Green Theatre here in Letterkenny. Tickets are 25 euros and for uh, concession is concessionary yeah, rates, 18, uh, 18 euros yeah. for under 18s. I would advise and I would please go along, sample the opera, mm -hmm. and uh, get a taste of something that might just open something in your mind or maybe open something in your children's. Uh, you know, that could last forever, last forever. Because I remember when I was growing up, but just on a quick note, uh, uh, before we uh, got into kind of half modern music there was always um opera in the house and one of the ones that was um it was the parents of Penzance and there was more albums and my mother's side you know and you had to listen to them you didn't really like them but all of a sudden now as you get older they come back to you and you know there's things that got a spark in my head you know yeah. so and that was me not even doing opera you know what i mean but anyway uh, Lisa, Anna Louise and Diane, it's been an absolute pleasure. The best luck with it. And please, I, I have a notion you'll be back next year telling us about your, your latest production. I hope so. Uh, well, I, I really so. hope to be we'll back. We'll be delighted to do uh, that. Thank yeah. you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.